Okay, so we're running a little behind schedule. We'll start our budget presentations with uh, inspection services. Ms. Meyer. Thank you for the time. Appreciate it. I'd like to just hand out some facts so you can peruse them as I speak. Thank you for what we're going to be discussing. Um, first of all, I'd like to, for Dennis Bill, our plumbing and gas inspector, apologize for him not being able to be here. He is at a, uh, a funeral. So I told him I. Well, can you pass those down to the people that need it, like the uh, finance director? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Thanks. You get this. So, as far as my budget is concerned, there's three three line items that are increasing. The first one is the clerical staff. Uh, she is uh, in for a COLA <coughs> increase and uh, the 2%. The other one that is sort of fixed is the software rental cost. It keeps on going up about 10% plus or minus every <coughs> year for us. That went from 13.75 to 15.10. And for clerical, I'm asking if it's this year was at 20,735. I'm asking for an increase to 21.772. Now the last line item that is that I'm requesting an increase is for me for, to try to increase to 40 hours based on the amount of work load that I've been seeing. Uh, we've had actually a very good year this year. We've brought in over $100,000 in fees alone. Um, but depending on what happens next year, just by looking at the second page will give you an idea of what some of the future growth might be. And that doesn't include all of them. It doesn't include the solar. It doesn't include a couple that we really haven't gotten into the planning for. But just based on those known facts, we could have a substantial increase in growth with fees uh, next year. But again, as you know, the issue with natural gas can really put a damper on our growth. Now, I was in discussions with Texas Roadhouse this morning and asking them what their position is right now. And as of this morning, they said they, they are going to go forward. They have been told by Berkshire Gas that the maximum time would be about three years. And they are um, looking into going propane. The hope is that that might happen with a number of the other ones. We don't know, and we will have to find out. It is certainly a major issue that we're faced with. <coughs> so those are my three items. I'd really like to try to get up to 40 hours based on the growth that we've had in the past years. I've been working with 35 hours for forever, and it's just getting to be uh, a major Issue. I believe that next year we we certainly will have the fees that will come in to support those increases. Um, Anna, is there any questions with, in regards to my budget? Thank you. In, in regards to increasing the hours from 35 to 40, and I'm not doubting the, the volume that's here, but to the extent it is somewhat variable, is um, is an alternative the possibility of farming out that excess inspection work and getting somebody else to help her? We do have an alter We do have several alternate inspectors. It's very difficult for me to get those gentlemen in on a last-minute basis because they all have their own full-time jobs. What we have for 
the, right now, it's just to cover me for when I'm out of the office for vacation and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But um, it, I, I can't really call them in specifically for certain items. We have used them in the past for annual inspections. Mm -hmm. uh, that certainly is something we can look at, but it's not going to cover what I do on a daily, day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. How much is in your budget for the um, part-time people? Uh, $7,460. How many hours is that? I don't know. It's based on $30 an hour. It's as needed, whether you're on vacation or at a mm -hmm. But it's $30 an hour would be the go there. So this is not this is not clerical part time. This is no. what I'm doing. That's, so this is instead of we used to have a line called the alternate right Yeah, we, we took that out and put it into the part. Mm -hmm. Okay. The so that's, okay, so that's the same thing. Yes. All right, thank you. We, we put them all together. So that's the amount that was voted. So that's just the budgeted amount. Do you know what you're on track for to spend on an actual basis this year? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Out of the prior years, do you know if you were over or under that line item? I usually, I certainly try to stay under. Now, a number of years we did have it had it quite high due to did you just say pad? I padded it. <laughs> yes. And that was it was something that we all went with because of medical issues. We did not know what was what right. we were going to say. But we put it on the high end, but a lot of that was returned. Right. Yeah, I was thinking we more just like the five thousand and the seven <laughs> seems to be the range, the normal range. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. never exceeded um, the 7460 in the no. sense it's been voted higher in several years, but um, it hasn't been over 7400 since before 2012 anyways. Could you reread your increases? Because um, what we're looking at here, I have uh, F FY 2016 requested. Could you? I know you said I put in clerical. Was clerical, I put in for, as twenty-one seven seven two, and then um, yours with an increase in hours would be with the increase in hours it went to, it, it goes up to sixty-eight three hundred six. So just um, what's the total budget go up to? Uh, I have. A, I can yeah. add it up. Yeah, I have it with gas and plumbing right now. Okay. Sorry. You don't have a home? I think it's a one or two one fifty eight. I'll add it up. Well in the in the beta it's one oh one three twenty seven. One oh one. One oh one three twenty seven is the beta total budget request. But that clerical wasn't as high as what you just asked for. <laughs> Sorry, our meeting's being disrupted. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I think the selection <laughs> needs to think about is we've, we've kind of started this, and the question is, do we want to keep doing this? Um, What's, our what? We have salaried employees in Town Hall. Um, we've, in the past, the salaried employees were set for a 35-hour work week, mm -hmm. and their salaries were based on a 35-hour work, work week. Um, salary, salary employees don't traditionally get overtime, they don't get anything like that. So we've had this come before us once before, um, and here we have it again, we're going to probably get it a couple more times, I imagine. The question is, do we stay with a 35-hour work week for salary employees, or do we go to a 40-hour work week, or do we need to think about just changing compensation, and we keep talking about the compensation study. Are we compensating our salaried employees properly? Um, it's very rare in town governments around us that town hall staff and clerical staff are paid 40 hours a week. You usually only see 
the public works department, the police and fire, 40 hour a week employees. And even in those departments, you see this clerical staff at 35 hours. So as we, as Mr. Nyhart brings forward this, I understand that what he's asking for, I understand the need for it, but then again, it begs a bigger discussion among us mm -hmm. as whether we are going to continue to do it one at a time and abandon our policy, or do we keep our policy and reevaluate our policy? So I just kind of wanted to bring that up. Um, cause I, I do feel like everyone's working very hard, and I see them working very hard, and they deserve as much as we can give them. And but we do need to be fair to everybody. If we say 35 hours is it, 35 hours is it, and then we need to adjust the salaries based on that. If that's where we decide to go, so that's my, that's where I'm seeing this going. Well, mm -hmm. that's the whole point of getting the wage study done. Yes, but we need to actually resolve this before we probably have a wage study mm -hmm. now because it's definitely in the budget. Um, we kind of approached it in another department as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, our, our town administrator is a 35 week, 35 hour a week. Isn't it 35? Mm -hmm. It's 40? <coughs> oh, who's the other one? There's who's another the other one. 40? There's another 30. The, no. the, the three the, elected yeah, positions the elected are 35. Are 35. Yeah. That's it. What about town? Yeah, town clerk. Yeah. Town, town, so town clerk, clerk. town treasurer, treasurer town collector. They're thirty-five. What's Gail? She's thirty-five. Five. Should, and then what about Dan? He's thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to kind of sit down and decide. I sort of don't fit into that mold with those type of positions because of what I do. Right. I and mean, that's, in, that's in evaluating, issue. you have to look mm -hmm. at the drivers behind. You know, what, what what drives the number of hours you must work, and what's in your control, and what's not. But and I but I think that's what Guilford is getting right, at yeah. too, though. The other thing is use of technology. I mean, there are a lot of things that are, you know, if, if we're yeah. If you go to the ISO report, because it has said for a number of years that based on what we have, it's two and a half inspectors. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, we've been very very efficient in what we do here. And uh, I mean, I don't see the need for two and a half inspectors. It's based on certain dollar figures and things like that. But we have really grown over the years, especially in the 10 years, with the number of uh, businesses and everything else that have to be inspected and whatnot. It, it, it's a load. And the nice thing that's happened in, in Hadley that doesn't happen in a lot of other towns is we work well together, and I can rely on Mike. When we, I cannot do a wood stove inspection that needs to be done, I rely on him to look at what I need to look at. Same with Willie. I have to rely on him sometimes on the solar because I just can't do it all. Mm -hmm. and, and we don't, and most towns don't have that. And we are very, very fortunate that all, of, all the inspectors do work well together. I have to rely on Dennis Phil with the boiler inspector inspections. I can't always do all these things, you know? There's only so many hours in a day that I can put in. So but the, the other thing with that begs though is part of the, the bigger, I think just a bigger discussion is we have, um, you know, I'll call it, you know, bench strength <coughs> risk. I mean, to the extent we have significant um, responsibility laid on such a small number of individuals without having backup. If something happens to any one person, we really need to be thinking about, you know, what's the plan B here? And we've had, and we've been very fortunate that we've had the ability to bring in people. Yeah. <laughs> we've been very right, fortunate. Right. So I, so I, you know, I understand what Gilford's saying. I mean, I think we, I think we, this does beg a bigger staffing discussion that we said we were going to have during the budget process, and we haven't quite gotten there yet. But you're. Reminding us. So any other questions from the board? No. Questions from the audience? Yes, can I have uh, the clerical, how many hours is that one? Because, uh, the 25. That's 25? Yes. Now that was a five hour increase from yes. before. Mm -hmm. So that had been 20, and yes. that went to 25, yes. and you're still just asking, you're, you're not asking for an increase no. in hours, so that's, no. okay. That's been working very well. All right. And we, Taking on the plumbing and gas. Okay, I just want to follow up on something that. Ha well, it went 
to that as Code 25, it was because there was a backlog in moving the records along, and I don't know if. Um, and we added plumbing and gas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Into the. That's system. why we added the hours. Yes. Right. Okay. That was the primary reason. All right. So that's ongoing, an ongoing yes. need. Not oh, we got caught up now. So. No. All right. That's an ongoing need. So that's still so that's still really a part-time position. Right. With benefits. I don't know if she has been. I don't think she does. It's over she 20. does anything, anything over 20. Yeah. Position. Anything 20 and over yeah. is going to be I don't, benefits. I don't take that. I don't think, no. All right. Anybody else in the audience have a question? Yeah. Um, I looked over this. Is what he brings in for fees. And he's a fee generating department. He's not like the town treasurer or what this cost of doing that business. Mm -hmm. He is bringing monies into the uh, community. And then plus, he is not collecting health insurance. He's not doing things that, by adding extra hours, is going to cost the town any extra money, like bringing in extra help. I certainly support that increase in that budget because he's going to end up doing more inspections. He just can't cover the whole town and all the businesses and everything that happens without either paying someone else. So this is the best bet for the town of Hadley. And I really would hope to Sockham would support him for that reason. I'd just like to say I don't think that whether someone takes benefits or not should be part of any discussion of any budget item. It, you know, if they're, they're entitled to, something could change in anyone's situation between today and tomorrow, and I don't think that it's like rewarding someone for not taking benefits. Right. It's like punishing them for taking I benefits. I don't think it's the basis relevant. for the decision is on that. You have to look at the needs of the department. When you're, when, I mean, when, if, all these department budgets, you have to, you have to address the needs of the department first and foremost. Then you look at how do you pay for it? What can we pay for it? I mean, there's a whole litany of, of bullet points you have to hit. I just think I'm with Guilford that we've already broached this with one department. We now have another one here. I'm assuming that we're going to have you know a steady stream in taking Tim's budget aside as a separate item. Do we want to address all of them at once, or do we want to do them piecemeal? And I think that's what you were talking about, Guilford. Yeah. And and I think you know we we did this two or three years ago where people were coming in saying you know I'm at the top of my step, I I haven't gotten a step raise in a few years, I could really use this and that, and we dealt with it, and then it keeps coming back to us. So you know notwithstanding this conversation we're having with Tim here tonight I think there's an overall view of where we are and where we're going and I think you know Tim's department's grown I think the treasurer's jobs grown everybody's job has grown from where it was 10 15 years ago the question is are we moving the position to where it needs to be to get the job done and I think that's a discussion that we have to have town hall, I'll get I'll call it town hall wide <laughs> yes and then if we say, okay, we're comfortable with something, but we need to make an adjustment to one budget, we can justify doing it. If I remember correctly, too, we set the budget, and then the Finance Committee turned around and gave increases to people that we hadn't expected to because, no, no I know you weren't there, but I'm just saying that was it's been it's history. Been so we, we don't want to see that happen again. We, and we want to make sure that we're all on the same page. We're working with you. Yes, yeah. you are. And I just want to you know, make that statement that we're heading in that direction. That's what we would like to do. So. On, a, on a note about rewarding people who don't take benefits, some of our neighboring communities do have that program. Really? And yeah. they reward employees. There's a really? stipend given. For I support who that wholeheartedly. Do not take because it's actually cheaper yeah. to give them an additional amount of pay than to pay their health insurance costs. Yeah. Did we do that? We did, we did that. that. We did we that did back here. when I was on finance. Five six and years Young ago, proposed it with the schools, and then he. There was only one person at the schools who who 
took advantage of it, but I thought that that was town wide. It was town wide. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that, that is. So, you David's town wide against. policy, then you don't do it, like you said, you don't do it one by one. You set a policy. But that, yes. that was a policy. Mm -hmm. David's nodding here, too. He was part of that meeting. That was a town wide policy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think yeah. it was a one, a one one off deal where you could take a take some sort of benefit. Mm -hmm. If you dropped a benefit, we would give you a stipend, I think. Right. For one year? For one year. And I think there was one taker. So there's, yeah. Yeah. So there's communities now that. Just one. Mm -hmm. Around us. I could tell yeah. if you belong to that community. I'd forgotten that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for what you're saying about other communities, that is a big part and a big expense to this town. Healthcare is very big. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah. But. What Brian is also talking, throw it all into one lump sum. I would hope that the selectmen take the time to analyze every department, every needs, not just give a blanket shot across the bow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how how do you have you any thoughts about how we can facil facilitate having no. that discussion? We have no. to think about it a little more. Okay. Anybody else? We can else do that for the eighteenth um, meeting. Okay. Yeah. Actually, by the then, agenda. by then we will have have had all the agenda, for the agenda. All the, uh, budget proposals. Yeah, have that discussion on the eighteenth. On the eighteenth, mm -hmm. what do we put it on the agenda? This forty-hour week business okay. thing. We actually may also want to put it in one of our other items on the agenda. We could roll it in with that as well. Um, I I do have one question for you. Um, do we actually have a? Uh, uh, master list of all the inspections we have to do and where we have to do them or is there an idea of how many hours we spend just doing the repetitive annual recertifications and inspections we have a list of the annual inspections it, it certainly could be better uh, it's broken down into the the categories of alcohol licenses the um, uh, the rest of the hotels and hotels and all the other <coughs> It could be tweaked to make it look better. Can I just get a, ask you then to give us just a breakdown of what, how much time you spend on those annuals? You don't have to like break it down per, but just kind of a guess. Ballpark. Ballpark, yeah, just for these things. Well, most of them are a good hour and a half. So, restaurants. So how many of that's total is what I'm kind of looking for. All right, we can work on that for you. Thanks. Any other questions on this budget? But you need to do plumbing and gas if I may. Yes. Well, we have to spend, are we done with this one? I think we take on, I think what we we take what Tim has taken, uh, told us tonight with the increases and we take it under advisement as we move through this process. Okay. Thank you very much. Plumbing right. and gas, and as you know, uh, we have Dennis Phil now as our plumbing and gas inspector. Uh, so there are a few things that have happened, primarily the requirement that he has to be a certified inspector now, and that was not the case before. That uh, has, and we never had a tuition line at him for that. His tuition fees are quite substantial, and the reason is, not like mine, mine are pretty low, his are high because he he and the alternate both must be plumbers, master plumbers, they have, and gas. So he goes through those courses that any plumber or gas installer has. So uh, we don't, again, we don't have that line item, and that's why we're asking for to increase uh, his substantially because what has happened is. He only had the salary and the mileage before. I asked for, we had asked for a larger increase in mileage. I'm going to reduce, we're going to reduce that uh, and only ask for a $100 mileage increase. And that should <coughs> cover his mileage for the entire year if we add another $100 on it. Uh, when I, what we had started doing was uh, Dennis started keeping track of the number of hours he was putting in per week and the number of miles he was uh, traveling. 
So and that actually the mileage turned out to be less than he thought. He does what I try to do. I try to group my inspections in an area in, in an area and do those together and go on down. And sometimes you have to flip flop them around um, to keep them grouped up. So we try to keep the mileage low. So Tim, we're looking at the F uh, 2016 requested. Um, 3292 is the salary, tuition's 410, mileage is 260. What are you looking at? What's uh, Dennis looking at? We wanted to increase his salary 10% to 3620 for the gas. So that you see that in the bottom of that. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm sorry, there is a tuition line, it's 400. He's taking out of pocket expenses to pay for that right now. He needs another $430 to um, pay for his tuition for both him and the alternate. So, just to clarify this, what we submitted the budget, the budget request increase for that was $410 no, was for a $10 increase. No. No, it was $830. $830? That's why I'm asking the question yeah. now. So that tuition line item is eight hundred and thirty dollars, not four hundred and ten. Yes. Okay. And then you said mileage, you increased that a hundred dollars? Just a hundred dollars. To three sixty. So can we just go back to the eight eight thirty? So is that for both gas and plumbing or combined? Combined. Combined. Okay, so four ten. So four ten plus four ten. Oh, okay. All so right. So we have eight twenty in there. Right, eight twenty and it should be eight thirty. Okay. Okay. Thank you. When was the um, requirement changed for the education? A little over a year ago. And he's been over two years now? Yes. Does he have a certification? Yes. Um, actually it was actually longer than that. Uh, he had, Peter was required to do it, and before he went into the new certification round, which was two years ago, like me, it's my certification's every three years, I believe his is every two, um, he just bowed out and quit and got Dennis in before that whole certification thing came up again. Because he wasn't going to go to school mm -hmm. to go through that. It's pretty rigorous for him. So that's <coughs> That's both the plumbing and the gas budgets, right? Mm -hmm. That's both plumbing and gas budgets you just did? Yes. So, any so questions I'll, from the board? Well, I just want to clarify, the gas inspector line item for salary, you're saying, is increased to 3620 Yes. Mileage, let's call it 415 If it's 830 total for plumbing and gas, we'll put 415 in each. Correct? That's a good way to do it. Okay. And then mileage, you were adding a hundred dollars to his mileage line item to get it to three sixty. Is the mileage in the plumbing still two sixty, or is that a hundred dollar increase there? Would, um, I had him combined it. Uh, see, it was combined. It was five hundred. Yeah. Two fifty each. I just raised raised it up to six hundred. So so, so if we go three hundred for each. Combined, yeah. we'll get what we should be. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm getting the right numbers. Sorry, that's okay. That's why we're here. But then there's a line item about telephones. In addition, a request for four hundred eighty dollars for telephone costs is made. What's that? What we'd like to get him a cell phone. He's taking the calls at his house, mm -hmm. and, and I'll tell you, the last mm -hmm. thing inspectors want are give out the home phone numbers for these guys mm -hmm. because they call all hours of the night. Right. Yeah, but that's and not even on a line item here. I, I, I it was a deal put it as a separate request. Yeah. So. Do you have a copy of what we're looking no. at? No. Not on the phone. I, I had submitted that. David and I had talked about that a while ago. I'm trying to do that separately. So that's you, one of the things Do you have a cell phone? I have do. a cell phone. I might, and that's one of the things we have to really start looking at. My cell phone is on the fire department. It's joint, so that we share hours. Of so why don't we add another phone for the gas slash plumbing inspector? That can't be too hard. It, 
I, I, it Kill would be. For week two. <clears throat> you got too many phones already. So why, why don't we just take it under advisement? We yeah. still have to do right. cell phones. It, that whole thing needs to be looked at. Try to put all everything together. I mean, this 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 leads us right back into our efficiency <coughs> discussion. Yeah. yeah. So, and the other thing I think about for cell phones, if the town actually owns the cell phone, everything on that cell phone is a public, public document. Record. Right. Yeah. So, if you call your wife, your wife texts you. Yeah. That's the public <laughs> document. That's right. So, we Both do. Most of us know that. <laughs> 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 Yeah, your girlfriend gets you. <laughs> so, is there any other questions about the two budgets for gas and plumbing? No. No. Thank you for your time. Wait a minute. Oh. Are we going to get cleaned up? We're going to get cleaned up. Budgets? Yes. Okay, and on Vader? Which is what we got. <coughs> so, get yeah, the that. Get the, right, get the correct request on Vader. <coughs> Because what you're asking tonight was on VADAR and it wasn't what well, we gave us either. We just don't have that. We all. had serious issues with VADAR on my computer. It crashed my entire system. So it took an entire week to get up. And I just hand wrote it and gave it to David. I could not do anything with that. So David can get it on the VADAR? We'll get it on the VADAR. All right, so thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thanks.